So today, even though it's a winter storm out, I am going to be reading this book today, a few paragraphs on Aristotle and who Aristotle actually was. He was a Greek philosopher. Aristotle was born in 384 at Stagira, a Greek colonial town on the Aegean near the Macedonian border and somewhat east of the modern city of Salonika. Both of his parents were Ionian in origin. His mother was a native of Chalcis, from which Stagira had been colonized. His father, Nicomachus, belonged to the guild of the sons of Aesculapius Esch and was a court physician to M. Amintas II, the father of Philip of Macedonia, uh, Philip of Macedon. Aristotle, who seems to have remained with his parents during his first 17 years, may have studied medicine with his father, and it was sometimes claimed in antiquity that he practiced medicine when he first went to Athens. In 387, Aristotle entered the academy in Athens. Plato was then 61 and just entering upon his intervention in the politics of Syracuse. The Ac Academy was giving particular attention to the problems of politics and legislation, and in addition to its more general philosophic interests, was increasingly preoccupied with mathematics and astronomy. Few details have survived the life of Aristotle led at the Academy for 20 years. He is said to have been called by Plato the intellect of the school. <clears throat> There is also a tradition that he taught rhetoric. He is known to have written numerous dialogues modeled after those of his master, which were famed in antiquity for the lucidity and the easy flow of their style. There is little evidence of any serious disagreement between master and pupil during these years, and on Plato's death in 347, Aristotle wrote an elegy for an altar of friendship to Plato in which he praised him as a man who it is not lawful for bad men even to praise, who alone were first of mortals clearly revealed by his own life and by the methods of his words, how to be happy is to be good. When Phusippius, head of the academy in 347, Aristotle and another of Plato's pupils, Xenocrates, left to Athens for Asus in the Triad, there were two former members of the academy were teaching. The tyrant or ruler of the territory, Hermias, had become their pupil and out of gratitude had bestowed upon them the town of Asus. The four set up something like a colonial academy. Through his teaching, Aristotle apparently became the intimate friend of Hermias, and he married the ruler's adopted daughter. Theophrastus, from the neighboring island of Lesbos, was also among his pupils. And it may have been on a suggestion that Aristotle moved about 344 to Mytilene on Lesbos, where two years later he was engaged largely in the study of natural history, particularly marine biology. In 342, Aristotle returned to Macedonia to act as tutor to the young Alexander. Although he had been an early Macedonian court and already enjoyed some reputation for his dialogues, the deciding factor in the appointment may have been Aristotle's connection with Hermias, who at this time was apparently negotiating with Philip regarding an expedition against Persia. And that's where I stop, will stop and uh, allow you to absorb that information, which Aristotle was not only a philosopher, but he was also a doctor. Most interesting. There goes Aristotle.